We have retrospected the vicissitudes of the Mount Chomolama region in the last video, and this time we'll continue our tour in the Chinchia Mountain Museum in Lhasa and have a mountaineer to share with us more stories of Mount Chomolama. Actually, I have a better person for, uh, to introduce all the rest of the items for you. Mm -hmm. um, it's who is also a member of the Tibet mountaineering team, Sitting the Lala. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Sun Demta is a member of China Tibet mountaineering team and a professional mountain guide. The 33-year-old mountaineer has climbed to the top of Mount Chomlama four times. To climb Mount Chomlama is very dangerous and very tired and very exhausted and very difficult activity. Mm -hmm. So on top, we just do one thing: is take photo, take photo one minute, and then. Uh, go back and go mm -hmm. down is, uh, as quickly as possible. Okay. Mount Chomlama has attracted considerable attention and climbers, but it's never easy to reach the top of the world. After a long march to the advanced base camp at the north face of Chomlama, climbers are facing challenges to surmount a steep glacier. After passing 6,500 meters in elevation following the red line, the climbing route becomes steeper and steeper. In reality, what kind of device did the climbers use to overcome the ice cliff? Mountaineering in a contemporary sporting sense was originated in the 18th century's alpine region of Europe. For hundreds of years, human beings have been continuously creating climbing records, supported by not only their courage, but also their wisdom. This is Krenpong. It's impossible to summit a snow mountain only wearing climbing shoes. Krenpongs help climbers surmount ice and snow. The Krenpongs is a uh, uh, take on shoes, mm -hmm. and then uh, you can um, easy to climb the ice wall mm. and the snow, uh, like a snow mountain. So it helps mountaineers and climbers to climb more efficiently and more, more safely. Yeah, more safely. However, before reaching the top of the mountain, snow and ice is not the last obstacle. Above the altitude of 8,500 meters, there are three prominent rocky steps at the northeast ridge of Mount Chumlama, which are difficult to surmount. Among them, the second step at an altitude of 8,610 meters is particularly steep and almost vertical. In 1960, the Chinese expedition team successfully ascended Mount Chomlama via the North Ridge, the first time in human history. In the 1960s expedition, Chinese mountaineer Lu Lianman volunteered to be a human ladder to help his teammates Wang Fuzhou, Gong Bu, and Chun Hua climb over the second step. Until the 1975, Chinese mountaineering team tried to take this ladder, this ladder. Mm -hmm. to the 8,700 meter high to uh, erected, mm. erected there. For more than 30 years, the metal ladder helped over 1,000 Chinese and foreign climbers climb over the second step and then to the top of Mount Chum Lama. It's called the Chinese ladder, and now it's the most precious treasure in the museum. Without this ladder, uh, many people cannot uh, reach the uh, Mount Chum Lama mm. summit. Also, many people uh, is very dangerous. Very mm -hmm. dangerous at the mountain. Yeah, Chumlama. it not only help a lot of people to achieve their dream yeah. of reaching the top, but also save save a lot of people's lives. Yeah, 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 yes. When the Olympic torch was carried to the summit of Mount Chomolama as part of a torch relay for the Summer Olympics in 2008, Chinese mountaineers brought a new metal ladder up to the mountain and replaced the former Chinese ladder. The new ladder continues to support climbers all over the world in their efforts to reach the top of the world's highest peak. 